Hey everybody, this is Herschel Froome from High School Top 200. Now this, uh, I'm in my new studios. No, not really. I'm just in my office, but I've got this green screen behind me now. Um, so I've got a mate of mine who's going to be, um, who's going to be doing all the digital image and all that kind of stuff. So I thought I'll show you what it looks like first. And so all the other videos from now on are going to be, um, all done with fancy design, whatever. I don't really know what it is. But he's going to do that for me, so he's going to fix me up. And so even if we want to put um, advertising on the back behind our videos and stuff like that, we can do that. And so I've got my mate Tapso Inoka who's going to be taking that care of that stuff. So this is my um, my first video of the season, and this was my uh, first thoughts. And so the first thoughts is, is more about just seeing what uh, all the scores are and what my, <laughs> my first reactions and thoughts are of, of what happened over today. Um, one of the boys reminded me that on my Snapchat I, did, I didn't do my uh, predictions for the week. So I'm sorry about that. I forgot about it with everything that was going on. So next week we're going to have that on Snapchat. So jump on my Snapchat if um, if you want to hear my predictions. They'll be done on Friday nights. But basically before everything, um, before everything starts off. Um, so my first thoughts were uh, it's good to have rugby back on. Um, it's good to have um, first thing rugby on uh, that everything has started. It's good to have that um, sort of competitiveness between all the competitions and all the boys getting out there. And I know some of the, some guys are all still having their preseason and and whatever, but um, it was just good that uh, everyone was. Everyone is back into their competitions and normal routine of the season. Um, so the first one was, I thought that it was great that... Um, first off, congratulations to Liston and Tamaki. And it's great that they are now, after all the hard work that they put in, are now a part of the 1A. And they will compete in the 1A competition. Um, like everybody knows, it's going to be hard. It's going to be something that's... Um, a lot of work and that you have to prepare for every single week um, no matter who you're playing uh, so that that's going to be one thing that's going to be new to these two teams they got good rugby programs that are coming up right now and so um, best of luck to those followers and hopefully that they can um, continue to be up in there um, the other game I really liked was the Nelson and Christ uh, college one and that was for the Moesca Cup I personally didn't think that um, I thought that they were going to lose it. I thought Nelson was going to lose it. That's just pretty much just what I thought. Um, I thought Christ might be too strong, but Nelson fought back. Uh, obviously did their homework, did the business, and then still came away with the cup, which is a great thing to still have the Moesca Cup. Um, Melbourne put up some big points, uh, 50 points on Ron Kelly um, combined. And it's good now that... Um, Teams are starting to combine and get uh, getting smaller teams into these some of these bigger teams that are around sort of the country areas because it gives boys an opportunity that are part of smaller schools um, into the rugby system, into the rugby eye, and also up against the best players that are around within their region. So like that's good for Ron Kelly to bring some of them, um, uh, those other surrounding schools in. Um, and so with them and also Waimea, um and Ashburton also got another one too. They call it Mid Canterbury, um, and so that's another team as well. Um, Saint Thomas put up some big points um, today against Burnside, and I don't think that they had their league players in there, so it's going to be different once their league players are in there. And they're probably going to have a lot more offense in there. Um, Oriwa getting a are getting a win over Whangarei uh, was was big. Um, Hastings obviously winning against um, Wellington. Dilworth going down and doing the business too and getting their win against um, Town, St. Pat's Town. Kelson had a good win. Um, and also St. Peter's went, some St. Peter's and Orcas went down to Red Rural and, and, and won down there, which is which was really good for the 1A. Uh, actually um, pulling away a lot of wins because also Grandma went to uh, Tauranga Boys and won over there too, 25-19. Um... Manukura went over to the gully um, and New Plymouth boys, and that was a good win. It's good that, to see that Manukura can come out of um, sort of their small part of the competition into um, uh, and actually play against uh, bigger and better teams so they can get that exposure as well as get that practice in against better players. 
um, and harder competition. So that that's a um, even though they lost, it's a really good game. It's a really good opportunity for them to probably and hopefully get some more games from other teams around the country. Um, the main games that we come down to, I think, and probably the biggest surprise is um, I don't know whether it's. No, it is. Okay, so the, the first one is King's High School. And this is King's High School, not King's College. So I don't get confused. This is King's High School down in Dunedin. Um, they beat St. Kevin's 106 to 5. I honestly, I don't know unless you're playing like PlayStation and Xbox um, that you can get 100 points like that. It's It's not even... I mean, I don't know how, how much, I don't know how long that takes or how boring it gets when you get to 100. Obviously, the team that's getting scored on, and sometimes even the team that's scoring 100, I don't even know if it gets, if it's that fun anymore. Uh, I think there's like a, a points, there's a, there's a certain amount of points you get to where it's just like, well, should we just call it off? I'm sure the other team, I'm sure St. Kevin's want to call it off. And the thing is, that St. Kevin's not a bad team. So either they came on a bad day, and and Kings High School just came on a really good day, um, that it ended up with a score like that. Because that's just a lot. Of, that's just too many tries and too many points. And Yeah, I don't know. That's um, But that's probably one of the biggest surprises. And the other one, and probably the biggest one, is... And and it's sad too because I seen I seen St. Bede's at, at the St. Paul's um camp um and and just watching them and obviously they didn't look like the St. Bede's that we were normally used to and I and I was talking to parents and stuff like that around and, and and even they said the same thing. But I didn't expect something like losing to Lincoln High School. And Lincoln High School is not even a rugby school. Like, um, a lot of their boys have come up together. And it's great. And it's great to see that a lot of the boys have come up together. And, and sort of through the age groups. But for a rugby school like St. Bede's. Um, to lose to a... Well, what school? I don't even know. I don't know what their main sport is. But I know it's probably not rugby. And not at the extent and size that it is for St. Bede's. So, um... Yeah, that's probably got to be the biggest game and biggest loss of this week. It's probably got to be that one. The best win is probably got to be the Kings High School, and the worst loss is probably got to be the St. Bede's. And this is going to hurt them too. Um, the mental side of it is going to be pretty bad. Um, and then even the next games and the games on, I know that they have a lot of injuries, and I know that they have some guys out but i personally still don't think that they should have lost to a team like lincoln i think um st Bede's for what kind of rugby school that they are i thought their second 15 will probably be lincoln high school um and that's just my thought and and, and it's what i what i um, thought it would be like um and also to cover because i still have i still have people asking questions about this um my standpoint on 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 year 14 and I, I still don't understand that why people don't get it but year 14 doesn't mean that you're old it just means that you've got an extra year of school not an extra year of your age like i'm not too sure if people don't uh, people understand that you can still finish school at, at 17 and then still turn 18 the next year and still be at school and then you're still under the age of under 18 that's kind of how it works and that's the way it's supposed to work um so like I agree with if you're under if you're still 17 and you're leaving school um, and you're still 17 when the year begins I don't mind a kid that comes back to school and he's still under 18 I, I don't I don't see any kind of problem with that at all I see a problem with a 18 year old still coming back to school and then turning or I, I see an 18 year old coming back to school playing rugby and turning 19 that year that's what I have a problem with if a kid comes back to school at 18 and comes back and he turns 19, go to school, get your credits because that's what you come back for, but you're still not you're not allowed to play rugby. That's how I I feel it should go. It's like play club rugby even though you're still going to school. I, I feel like you can't represent your school. And that's not even just with rugby. I think that's with every sport that should be that way. Like you can't play basketball, you can't play soccer, you can't play cricket or whatever. 
I think it, that should be the rule and they should make it a, a, a nationwide thing. Like first 15 should be under 18s. It shouldn't be um, under 18s for some competitions and then other competitions be under 19. That's how I feel. And the way that I kind of look at it and and people have asked me too, like the way that I feel about... I always look at it as like if my son was finishing high school at 18 um, and he wasn't grown enough to go into the big world I would want him to stay at school and there's not a lot of kids that like some kids mature late or they get scared of the world because the the world is a scary place like being an adult isn't easy like you got a whole bunch more responsibility it's way more easier just to be at school and, and my my thought process is that I wouldn't want my son to be working with a bunch of 20 year olds 30 year olds and 40 year olds if my son was still 17 i'd want him to go back to school and be with kids that were his age because if you're if you're at work with a 20 year old 30 year old and a 40 year old and then they pick up habits and say things and you know influence your kid who's still highly influential at 17 i wouldn't want him to hang around fellas like that especially if they're not going to be good at um examples the other thing about being 17 is that and I worked at the clubs for 10 years and when you're 17 and all your other mates are 18 and you're in university and you all go out, the 17 year old has, he tries once, twice or three times to get in and he still gets kicked out and denied. Now that 17 year old, he's not going to go home, he's going to stand outside the club and he's going to try and stand as close to the bars or close to the, close to the club as possible, ask for drinks over the side and usually he gets into a fight because he's got nothing else to do. Now that's just a bad... That's for, that for me is what I would think about if my son had to to go out into this world and wasn't ready. And that's just how I feel. Other people may be different. That's cool. Whatever. But that's that's my standpoint of it. When you, if you go to work, you're influenced by other people, other adults that don't have that same responsibility and probably don't have that same care for your kid. Whereas at at school, he'd be still under teachers. He'd still be around friends. He'll. You know, friends would still be into different things and not part of this big world that we're in. And that's just my thought process on it. I still wouldn't want my kids to go to university and have university kids in terms of that, where they go to parties and then everyone wants to go to the club and your son's the only one that's 17 and dude's standing outside on the road uh, waiting for everyone to come out because he's tried three times and got denied, which is pretty funny. But at the same time, he's standing outside and then if he had pre-drinks, and he's going to, to the clubs pretty tipsy, and he hasn't had that experience with alcohol, he's probably going to have a fight with someone. And then that's where all the trouble happens. So, like, for me, that's that's my issue with the under-18 thing. And go, So, like, there's a whole other issues about it, but those are just some of them that I would think of. If you're, nine, if you're 18, turning 19, and you want to get credits, come and get credits. When you get your credits, leave school. When... Um, you're 17 at the beginning of the year you still got, and you still haven't turned 18 and you're still not sure what you want to do um, and you're and even if you're scared like it's alright to be scared of the world it's not it's not easy not everyone can do it like everyone's failing you got you got everyone around you that's failing who are adults just because you're adults doesn't mean you're you're, you're working it out um, but then just go back to school if you can't figure out what you want to do this is my first my first thoughts first one of the year um, the next time we'll have stuff back here, it won't just be green, but it's my green screen. Um, looking forward to next week. Got a lot more reviews um, coming for this week. I uh, got some 1A starting, um, some Chiefs Cup starting, which will be cool. The Trans Tasman um, uh, Wellington competition, the Hurricane one starting too, which is a really good competition as well. And that's going to be on as well. So, a lot of stuff next week. A lot of reviews, a lot of more videos as well. And um, I've got Farrah's giveaway to give away too. I've got a Farrah's giveaway for your mums. Um, some Farrah stuff coming on the way. Uh, keep posted. Peace.